This is a short introduction to the new Saddletech Gauge FedEx Saddle Fitting Simplified. This short presentation will show you how to use the gauge. However, if all else fails, read the directions. Place the saddle on the horse where you normally place it when you ride. Mark the front and the back of the saddle with the tape or chalk so that you know the correct position to place the gauge. Remove the saddle. Remove the gauge from the box and open the wings. Place the gauge on the horse. Center the gauge evenly between the marks you made in the front and the back of the saddle. Then double check that the levels are level. Adjust the center wings down and then adjust the front and back wings down. Make sure that all of the wings have maximum contact with the animal's back. Do not try to force the spine of the gauge down onto the horse's spine. The saddle should not contact the horse's spine, so we do not measure the spine. We are only measuring the saddle contact area. Gently remove the gauge from the animal without moving anything. Gently place the gauge in the saddle, evenly spaced from the front and the back of the saddle. This is why you mark the saddle position on the horse and center the gauge between those points so that both of these measurements would correspond. Now you can determine the saddle's fit for your horse. The saddle fits if all of the wings contact the panels evenly with maximum contact. The saddle rocks if the front and back wings have space between the wing and the panel. Some space is acceptable. The saddle bridges if the center wings have any space between the wing and the panel. No space between any of these wings and the panel is acceptable because it means higher pressures on the animal. And there you have it. Saddle fitting simplified for rent for a few dollars a day. There is more to the story, but the story and the gauge are available at SaddleTechGauge.com. Do not try. Measure before you buy a saddle. It's that simple.